All right, I am back about a couple days later after I climbed the tallest mountain, but this time I have more caulking and I'm using flex paste this time. Um, Cause it, I don't know, it looked cool. It was the easiest thing to find. Um, and I'm, I'm using like flex tape anyways on the outside. So I thought this should be fine. Um, but anyways, I'm hoping to seal this up a little bit more because there was a tiny leak when it rained um, in the mountains like a couple days ago. It was a tiny leak, so it wasn't that big of a deal. However, my big focus today actually is my wheelchair lift door. And um, I'm, I sealed this up like a long time ago, but uh, it probably broke because I put the foam board there. And that foam board probably, you know, push some, push some cracks, push some boundaries that, it, um, that it shouldn't have. And yeah, there was a big leak that fell from there, which is a little bit more concerning than a small leak. So I'm going to fix that one first and whatever's left, I'll use to seal up that. I still have the wood board there because you know, I'm not going to seal it, but a wood board on a, a leaky little door frame. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. All right. So after like a couple weeks of cleaning these things, they, they get dirty again. I don't know why, the, the dust and stuff like that and driving. So what I did, I bought this little broom and it is way easier than, uh, I feel like a broom salesman right now, but it's way easier than just using um, a towel, which is what I was doing in the past because um, a towel, you know, cleans it well, but this, like, I don't have to, like, get up, especially with my sore legs from hiking. I don't have to get up. <laughs> I've basically just been in bed the last couple of days because, um, because hiking just kind of killed my legs and feet. And hopefully I don't get an infection in my, my, <laughs> my skin. But, yeah, this is way easier. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe I was actually using a towel this whole time. <laughs> but there we go. This should, um... Approve my uh, solar panel efficiency. Honestly, this cleaned way better than what a towel would with way less effort. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty clean to me. I mean, I don't, I still don't know about that cracked one back there if it's actually decreasing my uh, output. I I still want to get another um, maybe two solar panels. I can probably get three here if I fit it right somehow. I don't know how I would fit it right. Uh, it would be really hard to fit it right. I would have to hit them like uh, kind of like one there, one there, and then one here. But anyways, I think uh, I will start the caulking since I am up here as well. So I looked on the roof and it looked pretty well sealed. But now that I'm looking at like where it's kind of leaking up here, I see that the flex tape is kind of like bent in on itself. Um, and that's probably causing a lot of water to get to the top there. So that's probably where I need to get to. The only issue is uh, I'm only six foot two, not six foot 20. So how do I get up there? Woo, I don't know. I don't have really a chair. I guess I have a chair in there, but yeah, it's gonna be hard to get out of my bus, especially with this car here. So maybe I am um, just trying to, you know, reach for it, reach for the stars. Um, or maybe I could try to stand on here um, I haven't actually opened this door in so long. Uh, that's right, I have it locked. <laughs> Alright, I got the tape off. That should stop the leaking. Okay, now, on to the windowsill. Alright, right about now is a good time to tell you that I am in a month in the future and what I'm doing right now won't actually work for a hurricane. Uh, specifically a hurricane Elsa that happened a couple days ago. So, uh, I will have to do more on this in a future video but i'm just letting you know that you'll need to if this ever happens to you which it probably won't you will need to probably seal it from the outside which i plan to do in like several videos in the future All right, I have finished most of the caulking. I can't see any more air holes. This is not a very efficient method of making my bus waterproof because I folded the metal so poorly. <laughs> but I've, I've come so far, <laughs> it's too late to back down now. So um, I guess I'll just have to wait for another rain. 
I'm not gonna spend my precious like six gallons of water um, on leak testing. Although I should probably check that leak of my my other door here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it be, and um, <laughs> hopefully, no more leaks. That should be the end of this video. If, if there, if it wasn't already, um, make sure to like triple click this like button, you know what to do. I'm gonna go to sleep.